Okay, here we are at, it says the Roosevelt Bath, so we're going to see, see what this is. Thank you. Do you work here? Do you work here? Yes. It, is there a place where Franklin Roosevelt really was? Well, he was. Uh, it's uh, it's Warren Springs, Georgia. That's his. He ended up buying it. Oh yes. Yeah. He was discriminated as a as a you know he, he was a handicapped person. Oh. You know? uh, but this place, because while he was you know his wife was involved also, so he. He has the name because he had things to do with everything that we have now oh, here. Okay. He did visit him maybe once, just as a whatever, but this is not like... He didn't have baths here? I thought it has to do with polio. It's, no, that's a Warm, warm, warm Springs, Georgia. Oh. He, he, that's his, he sold one of his property and had to oh. actually buy it, otherwise he was just not getting good service there. <laughs> I'll be darned. Yes, here we oh, have uh, Washington, we have Lincoln, and we have two Roosevelt. That's a Roosevelt too. Uh, but it's, it used to be a bathhouse. Right now, it's been just a building, state-owned facility, you know. Oh. So they fixed it, and there's some businesses starting to open up. And that's because it's inside the park. Oh. The Lincoln, because it's more for the public and. We cannot use it today because of the liability, oh. you know, but judge's office is there and the park police there. Oh. Uh, so the building is being used. And so the Washington Mineral Bath is the Museum of Dance now. Oh. But there's some area preserved. Was, was there any famous people that came here? To oh, absolutely. Oh. Well, sometimes they come and, you know, they don't want to be noticed and stuff. You know, oh. this back is here, so there's a lot of, uh, you know, artists coming here. Oh, yeah. But because this Saratoga, there's other people that are well known. And oh, yeah. Know, that oh, maybe like from the racetrack and stuff. Well, they're, they're trying to stay, you know, uh, unassumable. Yeah, yeah. You know? Oh, neat. <laughs> was, what about, like, through history, though? Was, any, was there anybody... You know, like um, Roosevelt that might have stayed here? I'm sure he might have visited here when this was opening up because his wife was involved quite a bit. And he she was. Oh, he okay. was pushing all that because he, uh, he used the mineral waters for himself, the sanatorium that he, you know, okay. he had there. It's in Georgia. In Georgia. Georgia yeah. yeah, that's right. I remember I that now. Uh, I think he died there. Yeah. Well, not there, but in the so that's as far as the Roosevelt. You know, it's just the names of the president. Yeah. But Roosevelt did have direct connection with, with the area. Because during the Depression time, you know, uh, they, they were turning economy, so people were working and they had these grand projects. I see. And so yeah. now we have the uh, uh, okay. the pleasure of having it. Still having the. Oh, and, and for many more years, believe me, this is done, Good. you know, really well. Yeah. <laughs> I've always heard about it, but I've never been here. Thank you very much. Mineral water, if you wanted to try that. Oh, okay. That's the Lincoln Spring. Oh, okay. It's not bad. <laughs> so, I'm going to try some mineral drinking water here. Oh.
probably all I'm sure immune system. That means there's probably a lot of people coming here hoping not to get coronavirus. High amounts of negative ions, uh, increased blood circulation, body metabolism, increased soothing and relief skin irritation. Oh, I could use that. Uh, balance the endocrine and central regular, regular bathing can balance the endocrine and central nervous system, leading to greater health and well being. So that's kind of the overview of the mineral bath at Saratoga Spa State Park.